Hi, I'm Kathy Casey. Everybody remembers maraschino cherries from when you were little, from Shirley Temples to topping ice cream sundaes. I went through Oregon and Washington recently to see how maraschino cherries were made. Sweet cherries are grown primarily in Washington, Oregon, California, and Michigan. The magic begins in the spring when every tree in the orchard is covered with blossoms and honeybees are brought in to ensure pollination. Skilled pruning and warm dry weather are key to setting a good crop. Too much rain or wind can cause the cherries to crack and picking at just the right time is paramount. It's a science. So by midsummer, about 60 days from bloom, the cherries have plumped up and are ready for harvest. Many varieties have noble names, such as Gold, Napoleon or Royal Anne, and Emperor Francis. I'm picking Royal Anne's here on our stop in Oregon. Once harvested, some cherries go directly to fresh packing facilities, like this one. The fresh cherries are washed, sorted for size, and packaged all within an hour or two of harvesting. Those look beautiful. That's a good one. Mm, wow. So fun. Those cherries destined to become maraschinos head a different direction. First stop, a curing brine solution. Fresh cherries like these Royal Anns are brined for a minimum of 45 days to preserve their shape and texture, just like pickles and olives. Brining before pitting helps the cherries keep their shape. Smaller cherries like these might end up as chocolate-covered cherries. Yum! After the cherries are pitted, they're placed in large vats where they receive their coveted color and flavor. This infusion process takes about three weeks. From orchard to jar, we're at our final stop where we're going to go see the bottling process. Now every processor makes their own unique tasting maraschino. Some are a little bit sweeter, some are flavored with almond. They're available with or without stems and in several sizes, from small to jumbo. You can even buy them pre-chopped. Of course, a traditional maraschino is the vibrant red we know and love, but during the holidays, you can often find green maraschinos too, primarily used for holiday baking. It's been such a cool learning experience. I can't wait to head back to my kitchen and bar to cook up some fun with maraschino cherries. <laughs>